Uh, it's already 10.30. We've been awake since 8. Haven't had anything to eat. I'm starving. Okay, some people aren't concerned with their catabolism. I see. <laughs> but 1,000 calories in the milk jug. Let's see how many. That's 64 grams of fat. Thank you. We should probably add these up and we'll splice, whatever. We'll, we'll see. Uh, 240 grams of carbs. And then what? 70 grams of protein. So I'll just drink this on the way home. Mike, let me out. Yeah, let him out of here. Yeah. I'm not an animal, I'm not gonna chug it, but I'll, I'll sip on yeah. it. <laughs> All right, so the quart of chocolate milk is clearly empty. It's been about I don't know, an hour-ish since then. So what time do you think we're going to lift? Whatever you want, Sam. You can go after this meal or the next. Yeah, probably after this one's fine. It'll be enough carbs. Usually I like, I don't know, maybe, if I'm trying to gain weight, I want to be really full. I'd say at least like three, 400 carbs before I'd want to lift. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. Like, usually when I'm working, right? I'm up at like 6.30, eat throughout the day. You know, by the time it's like two, my day's already halfway done. I'm probably like 500 carbs deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I think just a big ass bowl of cinnamon toast crunch and milk will be perfect. So 400 grams before training, Probably 50-ish during, and then 100 posts. So let's do, so let's do the math. We um, oh, I should probably look at the English side, not the Spanish side. Uh, <laughs> so 33 grams of carbs in one serving. That's one cup. Mm -hmm. So we need 33 divided by 400. <laughs> Well, there's already 240 done. Oh, so you got, no, that's, oh, so you're saying 400 calories. No, no, I'm saying carbs, but in this there is 240. No, there wasn't. Oh, there was too. Eight times 30. Eight servings. Fuck, there's 240 grams of carbs in this? <coughs> that was kind of surprising. That's I was surprised more by the 80 grams of fat. That didn't surprise me. It's yeah. whole milk. <laughs> <laughs> He's like surprised by the fat. It's whole, it's <laughs> um, it seemed like there'd be less, but I guess okay. So when you say so when you say I like to get 400 grams in before I train, mm -hmm. you don't mean the pre meal. You mean total before yeah, you train. Total. Yeah. So you get 240 there, so you need another 150 here. Is what you're trying to get? Yeah, but I'm not really like that specific about it. No, no, I know. I'm just saying. So 150. So even if you said 100, you need three, four, 150 is five servings. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Do it up. Five servings of cereal before we train, Paul. Five servings. I'll yeah. try the, the macros on that. How many times is that? 33 is 150. Yeah, let's add it up. Always going to have a food scale. I mean, you can. Most of these, they say to measure it out by the cup. Yeah, you should be exact with that. Right? That's, such a, that's just such a hassle to me. Like, why would I. You don't want to have 10 more grams than you don't want to have too much cereal. Well, why do I want to scoop it out if I could just pour it out and see the number right there in front yeah, of me? You measure it. No, we measure it. Oh, yeah, measure it. Yeah, like. Oh, I didn't know that you were using that for the cereal. I thought it was for the meat later or something. No. That's, well, that's for everything. It's for everything. Like, you got to measure it's everything. Tight, bro. That's right, bro. Alright, so let's do it again. More cakes? There we go. Let's one. Yeah. Oh, close enough. So, 169 grams, serving 41. So that's about four. And then zero it out. Just pour in however many grams of milk. Probably four cups, so that's what? 960. Sorry, you just had a liter of chocolate milk. I guess I'm just used to it. Yeah, perfect. Sit here for like 20 minutes, scroll on TikTok, and this will just disappear. So do you, <laughs> do you let that get yeah. mushy, or do you eat it while well, it's crunchy? I mean, I don't want it to be like... Slop? Yeah. I, it's, if I get to the slop level, I would take it too long to eat it. Yeah. Okay, wait, so, I gotta catch up. Oh, I already put it, I put the milk away, whoops. I don't think I'm gonna, well, I got different milk in you anyway. No, oh, yeah. You got 40 man, 40 man. man. Oh. <laughs> Lactose free. <laughs> oh, well, fucking, I'm That's saving you guys. If I drink whole milk, oh, I'd be shitting my pants the whole workout. <laughs> this smell good. All right. 
to it. Do Sam's diet today. Let's see how good my workout is after eating cereal. I've never had cereal before a workout. Uh, really? No. Usually cereal for me is a, a snack. So it's like my cheat meals are always later in the day. Oh, sure. How many, how many grams is this? Uh, I did 160-ish. Yeah, it's weird, right? Just do the, the milliliters. No, grams. Are you sure it's 160? You measured wrong. <laughs> you used milliliters. <laughs> well, it's the same thing. Is it? A milliliter of water is a gram. Oh my God, this guy, see? This You're is... learning. A milliliter of water is one gram. Yeah, because a liter of water is a kilogram. Mm -hmm. That was like the original we're measurement. We're we're Paul fancies himself uh, 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 mathematically. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, Sam's university student, I'll tell you where we're going. Paul, I'll Paul, just say I know my way Paul. around a scale. <laughs> yeah. You do, Let's don't see. you? Yeah. Okay. So 160? Yeah. Okay. I learned something new today. I didn't know one milliliter was one gram. I know I do. You guys go trade. I'm gonna sleep. I told Sam I would do his diet, Paul. I'm not like you. You backed out. You backed out before you even started. I didn't back out. Well, are you doing it? Well, breakfast will I have specifically what I have. Oh, so you backed out when it. So you backed out when it suits you. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up later in the game. The face on the back back of the box will be you on the toilet later. Yeah. I'm gonna be yeah. fine. Did you see it? No. Maybe a little bit less happy. Yeah. Uh, did you measure the milk too? Yeah, it was uh, four cups for me. Oh. But you didn't do milliliters? Like you didn't measure it on the scale? Yeah, I measured on the scale. I just zeroed it out. Yeah. Thank God you got lactate. What the fuck? Oh wait, I think it's doing something. Is that zero? There we go. Yeah, perfect. So how many? Four cups. Uh, four cups, so... Eight, you know, nine sixty. Shit. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> Dude, nine sixty is retarded. I'm not putting that much milk. <laughs> all, right, no. you, all right, you can do less. No, it's like it's not even. It won't even be enjoyable. It's like soup. Yeah. I'll do half. I'll do 450. Dude, look at it's already it's gonna be it's not gonna be enjoyable. It's too like I don't like it. <laughs> I'll drink. You know what? Just to be fair, I'll drink the other okay. 450. Fair enough, okay. okay, here. Just so we're just so I'm not pussy enough. But I want to enjoy my cereal, so I don't want to make it like soupy. Yeah. That was like <coughs> as long as you get it down, I mean it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. I thought the yeah. enzyme thing. You're not even doing it. You don't what happened to the enzyme it. speech? Oh, yeah. That doesn't go for fucking liquid. Well, you're chewing the cereal. I am I can feel enzymes being released right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know what? I'm going to go. My, you just film Sam. I'm not, I'm not going to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had three full. You don't get to. You're not even doing this. You don't even get to speak. <laughs> You know how long it's been since I drank a glass of milk? Me too. Yeah. Since you were a kid? Seriously. It's been like, no, I, you know what? When I was trying to get big when I was younger, I would do a lot of my protein shakes, I would do with milk. Arnold, I, used, Arnold used to say milk is for babies. Yeah, well, I drink beer too, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I, drink <beer. laughs> I drank both. Did enough drinking, I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I didn't really, I never ever liked milk, so I never drank it like by itself. But I would drink milk uh, with my shakes just to get the extra calories. Is it ghost milk, lactose free? I don't know what ghost milk is. Ghost milk? It's milk from a goat. They said, oh, goat. They said ghost milk. That's what I thought you mm -hmm. said. We all thought you said ghost, by the way. I might have. <laughs> <laughs> shitty part of the meal down first because I don't like milk so I'm gonna have to fuck this I'm literally chugging this for you 
probably going to throw this up. I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I can enjoy my cereal. There's still too much milk in here. Yes, you will. It's that bad? Do you eat all that on leg days? Like before yeah. you squat doesn't bug you? I mean, you know, any lifter worth their salt should know to go to the bathroom pre-legs. <laughs> right? Like I've only, I've come close once on a, a leg press. Shoot yourself? I like, I, I thought something was coming out. <laughs> but every time I squat, like, I'll finish hamstrings first, so I've kind of got a little bit of a transition period in the yeah. workout. Yeah. That's a perfect five minute break yeah. if I feel something brewing. Because that, oh. I've never had I would a hate shit that. during, but right after, within an hour post workout, I'm stopping. For huh. sure. No matter what I drink. Huh. Here. For me, it's always like, so it's got to be the caffeine and the pre. Every time I get to the gym. Once it kicks in. Yeah, that's the first thing I do. That's when my stomach will start brewing. Yeah, caffeine makes you guys shit. Hmm. Yeah. I'll probably do that across like on maybe five or six ish. Because like, you know, the post workout shake, it's like two scoops of protein and then you know, hundred grams of the cluster dextrin. That's not for the meal. Yeah. That's, you know, that's six hundred calories. But it's yeah, right, which you can't discount either. But yeah, you're right, it's not really a meal. Do you count that as one of your meals or no? I mean, I guess I don't really count meals. Mm. Okay. So you're just trying to get the calories in, whatever it is. Okay. Like that's what I'm really tracking. Are you in a bulk phase right now? Mm. We're getting near the end of it. Yeah. How much weight did you gain this bulk? I was like two. I think the lightest I was around like Christmas time, it's like two twenty nine, two twenty eight, and then now like you know two forty. I would bounce around like two forty seven, two forty nine. Really? Nice. Mm. So, a solid change. I'll, I, uh, I'll see how lean I get on the next, or on this cut. I'll probably only do it for like two months or so. Yeah, just like a little mini cut. Mm -hmm. That's usually how I end up doing it. Because like every time I diet, or like diet down, the point isn't really to like get on a show. It's almost just like a break from the bulk. Okay. Kind of recalibrate, get rid of some excess body fat. Okay. And then put it on again. And then you find that you got a good response again after that to mm -hmm. start bulking again. Yeah, so it ends up being like the bulk gains this much weight, cut down. But it's still more than before. Yeah, right, yeah. So every time it's just more and more growth. After after you mass, do you go into like a maintenance calories for a little bit? Uh, or do you normally just go straight into a cut? Nah, usually it's, it ends up being like a straight into the cut. Like there will just be one day where I'll drop it to 2,500. I don't really taper down. Like, like dieting down, I don't know, I just don't mess with it. Like it's not like I jump down to like... Like my, with my calories. Oh, okay. Like I always hear people talking about how they'll, you know, sort of drop it like 500. Right. Maybe once a, like every week until they get to like their deficit that they yeah, like. Right. I just kind of want to jump right into it. Yeah, really. Uh, yeah. As long as you're eating your protein and you weren't like, like if I bulk for just a month, mm -hmm. those first 10 pounds is just water and carbs. Yeah, nothing. Right. Yeah. So if you bulk for long enough where you've actually built some tissue, I think jumping straight into the diet phase, you're not going to lose any of that. Right, yeah, you kind of grow into your weight that way a little bit, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, do you do cardio at all? Uh, I've been trying to do it, like, pretty much every day. Yeah? Right in the morning. Just 30 minutes on the uh, the seated bike. Okay. I did a, I posted a, um, like, a community post on uh, on the YouTube channel asking how many people are doing their cardio consistently. So, consistently, I mean, for some people, that's maybe twice a week. Yeah. But it was 30% said they did, and 70% said they just didn't really and it was like like it was a big poll it was like 60,000 votes yeah so I'm always like pretty much at the end of all my videos I'm fucking calling people out for not doing the cardio I'll be that 70% oh wow I always skip that cardio you always do it or always skip it I always skip it oh my god I like it the older I've gotten where time is more of the essence you know it's the first thing that I'll cut out hmm I shouldn't do it but I do 
it's nice. I have a, I have one of the little seated bikes, uh, not like an industrial one, but you know, you sit down and just pedal. Yeah. I've got that at the apartment. It's cool. Okay. I meant to bring it back with me, but when I moved out, I didn't. We didn't do a U-Haul, uh, so I left it because I'm going back to the same apartment next year. Oh, okay. But yeah, that kind of if you have one at home, like a, if you like the treadmill, yeah, that saves you the trip. Yeah. That's sure. definitely worth yeah. it. How long do you normally wait to let this digest till you go train? I'd want to wait at least an hour and a half. Like, an hour would be kind of pushing it. And any less than that, depending on the lift, it would probably mess with me. You're like at the, like you start getting ready for the gym after an hour and a half? Or like you're at the gym ready to go? I don't know, like, like hour and a half would be like me leaving towards the gym. Like anything less than that, this would definitely be a mess with me. And you take your pre-workout on the way or? Yeah. I'll take it like, depending on how far the gym is. Mm -hmm. Like if it's five minutes, then I'll just drink the pre at the house. Okay. But if it's like 30, you know, then I'll just drink it on the way. I feel like if you drink it right before you start, your first like five sets, it's still that. kicking in. Mm-hmm. Right? That's that just seems foolish. Me and Twitch upon ours talk for half an hour then we shrink. Yeah. More like an hour. More an hour. <laughs> <laughs> eating is not the fucking hard part. It's eating foods that will allow you to train properly. And at one point in my life, this was normal. As you progress, as you progress, you reach a point where stuff like this starts to hinder you instead of help you. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have put all the milk in there because this milk's delicious. It's flavored. Yeah, yeah. all the fucking sugar in it. The sort yeah. of the way he's he's doing stuff, does it remind you of like when you started? Like what are some differences that you can say that like... Honestly, uh, Mike, it's exactly the same. The, um, the training is the same. It's just reckless uh, with passion. It's not about... It's not about being perfect. It's about... Uh, instinct and feel which I love the only thing I would caution him with training is not is not to change anything because anybody said so because if it's working and you're building muscle and you're growing then who cares what anybody says in my opinion results speak louder than anything else the only reason there would be any caution in his training is I suffered a lot of injuries because of the way I trained I think so the reckless ruthless, passionate, like just train for the feel and the love of it is amazing. But the bigger you get, it can catch up with you. So it has to be refined at some point. <clears throat> That's the only thing. But so I retired like five years ago, but being around Sam makes me want to fucking bodybuild again. Like I'll give you a perfect example this morning. He said, we were at the grocery store. He's like, it's 11 o'clock. I've been up for three hours. I haven't had a meal yet. I don't think that way anymore. Because I've been retired for five years now or more. So, But it reminded me. I'm like, oh yeah, I used to wake up. And the first thing on my mind was, what the fuck am I going to eat? <clears throat> so, yeah, it's very, very much. And that's this part of the thing that bothers me when people are commenting online. And they're like, oh, he's doing this wrong and doing that wrong. A lot of the people that are commenting are veterans of the sport or they've been around for a long time, but a lot of them forget what they were like when they started. And that's the shame, right? Because when me and Ian talk about Sam or me and Mike talk about Sam, we laugh in a, in a positive way because we're like, fuck, that was us, right? So <clears throat> it's, it's a shame when people who... 20 years later forgot that that's where they came from also. So, and that's why when people say, oh, you should change this or you should change that or you should teach him this or teach him that. I'm like, no, because those things, he's doing everything right for him. He looks better than I did at fucking 21. So those things will come in time as he 
learns his own body. Um, is it good to get tips here and there? Of course. Everybody should be like, yeah, you know what? You can try this, try that. But you don't change something when it ain't broke. So, uh, no, it's a... Uh, it's like a fucking... It's like a blast from the past. So, yeah, it's pretty impressive. And then the other thing, too, is he's doing all this while in school, while with a full-time job, while also dominating the social media space so all of it together is like it's pretty insane to watch so yeah now we're just going to digest the fucking two liters of milk i drank <laughs> try it try and put i see you burping a little bit try, over there. <laughs> you know what I, it's funny when i watch sam's videos he's always burping like in between his sentences <laughs> now i know why <laughs> Um, you know, it's going to be good. We're going to go, Sam, what do you think? We'll do, uh, do my workout today. Yeah. Something a little different. Mm -hmm. Probably not too much, uh, like pressing. Not too much pressing. Just because I mean, my front delts are like already pretty big. I don't do a lot of, <laughs> my front delts are too big. No, don't worry. I think you'll like the workout. We'll do some, we'll do some pressing, but it's not the, it's not the primary, like it's not the base of the workout. You know, we need a hostile funnel. It's coming. Okay. Is it? It's coming. All right, that's legit. I'm on top of it, Sam. Don't worry. Everything this year is going to be the... You came along at the right time, because we got all new shit coming up. I'm not going to do the other hand funnel. He doesn't need to. He's got a big mouth chug. <laughs> hand funnel. I have other little hand funnels that people do. I've never done like that. Yeah. Hand funnel. I've done that. <laughs> oh, my God. You're not hardcore until you've done a, pa a paper funnel. Yeah. I've done the paper funnel before. Okay. I thought you were only doing 50 grams. Well, was, uh, each scoop wasn't oh, was a half. Scoop, okay, yeah. Just so I could actually pour it in without spilling it all. Yeah, okay. My turn. Sam, you always train with about 50 grams of carbs? Intra? Yeah, in a... I mean, if I'm trying to gain weight, I mean, that's 200 calories right there. You know, I definitely think there's maybe a marginal energy strength increase, but, you know, if Would I was trying to... If I was trying to diet down, I mean, this would be zero cows. You know, I don't love drinking my calories if I'm trying to lose weight. I'd rather eat 50 grams of rice before the workout. Would you say, honestly, would you say you feel like you get an extra pump, though, when you have the added sugars? Yeah, I would yeah. say that. Just yeah. from being full. Yeah. More endurance, probably, too. Yeah, makes sense. It's kind of, well, it's kind of hard to gauge the difference. I feel the endurance when I have the extra Pico 2, but when, I, it, when I'm just doing CDX, I definitely feel more of a swole feeling when I'm training. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to see what happens when I switch to doing less of it to none when I start trying to trim down. Oh, you'll feel it. Because I'm sure I've been, now that's I've been exposed to just constant You know that's right. one of the hardest things about dieting is like that first, you've dieted before. Yeah. That first couple weeks, man, is the That's bitch. when you're the softest, but you're also the smallest. Well, it's also oh, when no. you're like, I mean, it depends how you diet. If you keep doing exactly what you're doing, but just trim everything down slowly, then you don't notice it as much. But if you go from eating like cereal and fucking all that to eating like chicken rice, you're, I notice it like that. Yeah. Right away, I'm like, I don't feel that like super swole fucking feeling. Feel that. Then your body's got to get used to that again. So it probably takes a couple weeks to train for your Yeah, body that's what I'm saying. Like it takes a couple weeks. Yeah. And, and your then body you, adapts. Yeah. And then you start, I don't know if it's because your body adapts or maybe you just get used to it. Yeah. But like, I definitely feel a difference when I'm eating shittier food with like lots of sodium and yeah. lots of fucking carbs versus like cleaner food with like less sodium and yeah. less fucking, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could feel a difference right away. I think that's why I keep eating shit. Do you like it? Because I like the swole feeling after training. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that inflammatory response. Yeah. 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 To the pump. yeah. <laughs> Post workout, you know, any of my viewers will, they're going to recognize this. The cluster dextrin shake. So, go a little extra this time. So, 100 grams worth of cluster dextrin, and then two scoops of the milk chocolate iso. So, this is before even the actual post workout meal. But, you know, I want to get some easily digestible carbs into the system as soon as possible. So, I'm not a big fan of sipping on this, so I'll just chug it and move on to the next meal. Yeah. <laughs> 
I gotta eat what you eat. I don't want to eat more. Oh, hey, you can eat more. I'm not gonna eat more. How's it going? Good, yeah, how are you? Can I get a hamburger? Alright. And a little hamburger. Both are gonna have tomato, lettuce, pickles, tomato, ketchup, mustard. Okay. And I'll have a hot dog as well. <laughs> Gotta have a hot dog. Yeah. Would you like any toppings on that? That's just she's a. Yeah, I'll have a ketchup, mustard, and relish. All right. Fries, drinks, or a shake today? Uh, no fries, but I'll have a large drink. <laughs> yeah, so it's that again? Whatever they want. I'm going to take care of all the hot dogs. All right. Fries, drinks, and a burger with mustard, lettuce, uh, ketchup, and I should have it. Mustard, lettuce, ketchup, uh, and a medium fry and a large drink. All right. That'll be perfect. Uh, I'm gonna have a hamburger and a little hamburger. I'll both them with um, ketchup, mustard, relish, pickles, and onions, please, and, so, and a pop. Ketchup, ketchup, mustard, relish, and onions. Uh, and pickles. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're all over the place. You're adored, uh, sir. You're adored. The message is spreading. Tapping more and more for you. What? Tapping more and more for you. I got another one. Yeah. So how do you know Sam? Oh, I watch him like every night. I watch him like every night. I've been following your ball for a while. Yeah. Yeah, we watch a lot. Dude, that's sick. We love watching it. We follow a lot of your tips too. Yeah, I'll keep popping them out. The debut all over again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of meals to catch up on. This is what meal Tuesday is it? I'm pretty good. I'm more than halfway done for the day. So what time is it now? Ten ish. Yeah. Took a took a huge nap after we got back from Five Guys. Yeah. So still got a little more calories left. Because right now I'm at about 4,700. You know, pretty much I want to hit at least 52-ish. So let's see what we're looking at here. 11 grams of fat, 22 grams of carbs in each of these. There's three grams of protein, but I mean it's what well, it's from dough. I, just, I never count that. Like from bread, or it's, I just, it's nothing. So that plus, I don't know how large these cups are, but maybe you know, four cups of milk. That's going to be another 30 grams of protein, 30 of fat, and uh, almost 50 carbs, 48 carbs. That's perfect. I can take my vitamins and go to bed. In my mind, all these carbs right now, for one thing, it's going to help me recover. And then I'm going to be nice and full for arms tomorrow. So clearly I'm not too specific about where I'm sourcing them from. Right, like you haven't seen, you know, chicken and rice all day. What, uh, what were some of the carbs from earlier? I'm trying to remember now. Uh, cereal. Oh, yeah, the cereal. <laughs> <laughs> the cereal, that was the biggest one. French fries, uh, burger buns. Yeah, the buns. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, for the most part, the calories are calories. That's pretty much always been my approach to it. Just because if you don't eat enough, right, you're not going to gain any weight. And if you end up eating too much, you'll never lose weight. So first and foremost, right, I find the most important thing is just the volume of food that you're taking in every day. Now getting into more specifics of like micronutrients or whatever, I've always kind of been under the idea that taking a multivitamin is at least approaching a level of equivalency to getting a very well balanced diet with all your potassium and electrolytes and whatnot. I'm sure it's not exactly the same, but you know, 5,000 calories worth of chicken and rice may be a bit uh, more time consuming to prepare rather than, you know, simpler stuff like this for me. But after this, I'll just take my vitamins and then uh, after this podcast, just go to bed. So, that's pretty much it. How many donuts are you eating? I think four. I got four on the mind. Okay, I'll eat the other two. <laughs> He's that <at> right. <laughs> I'm there for you, brother. I don't need you.
How much milk? Uh, I'll probably do four cups. Four cups. That, that's you, like two cups right yeah, now. This is, this is two here. Yeah. Oh, I can't drink two fucking yeah. glasses of that shit. Yeah, I'm going to do... Two. Two, Actually, two will be good. I'm going to do two cups of milk and a scoop of ISO H1. Don't do the milk, please. Because I would have to do the other two milk. No, this lactate doesn't fuck with me, man. Oh, it's lactate. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, I'll just do the two actually. Now that I'm looking at it, this will be good. I'm trying to find like a fork. Oh, over here. What's the fork? Oh, handle dirty. Because of donuts? For real? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I never, I never thought. Sophisticated. Sophisticated. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't need a fork and a knife. I'll just do. Double option. Just cut it in half and. Do half at a time, but pretty much every time I'll get back from Kroger when I'm at school, and there's a Krispy Kreme box in the uh, in the groceries, I'm just hunched over the over the counter. <laughs> Very oh, simple. Krispy Kreme is great. Here's your fucking. I can eat three. Go so slow, light guy. Yeah, I like your eating style. So yeah, just stick a butter knife in it for your mouth. I don't. I'm not about cleanliness per se, but I mean. Like just having sticky fingers. Yeah, yeah. That's something you got to deal with. Yeah. I have the same aversion with crumbs, so I try to bug light everything that I eat. Mm. Yeah. I'm just blocking your lunch. I'm going to order another dozen. Yeah? Oh, well, yeah. I should eat extra carbs today. Yeah. So I have an extreme pump tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, frightening arm pump. <laughs> <laughs> 